Hello and welcome to another Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you how to make painterly picture frames and other effects using Adobe Illustrator's brushes and an opacity mask. First I have a placed photo in my document and you can see its file name in the control bar and that it's a linked file. It can be linked or embedded, it's up to you. Now I'm going to open the transparency panel and double click in this empty space here which will create the opacity mask for the entire layer. The photo disappears for now because with opacity masks the rule to remember is that black conceals and white reveals. So right now everything is black and that's why you can't see the photo. I'm going to take the paintbrush tool and with a white stroke paint on the mask to reveal the image below. Since we're working with vector paths I can change the width of the stroke and the style of the paintbrush for different effects. The bristle brush in CS5 works really well with this technique. I'll make a new bristle brush and apply it to the path. Since the brush contains transparency, I can keep adding strokes to build up the opacity of the mask and reveal more of the photo. You can make a vignette by drawing an ellipse and filling it with a radial gradient. Using the gradient tool or the gradient annotator, you can adjust the color stops to achieve the right look. You can also use some of Illustrator's texture effects to add interest. I'll go under the effect menu to texture and grain. You can see the effects preview in this window. Since this is a live effect, you can go to the Appearance panel and click to edit it. I'll change it to a sketch effect and zoom in so you can see the detail. If you want to temporarily disable the mask, hold down the Shift key and click on its thumbnail. A red X appears over the thumbnail and you can now see the photo. So let's say I want to draw a rectangle the size of the photo and I can see it more easily if the mask is disabled. To re-enable the mask, shift-click it again. I'll add a brush to my rectangle for a sketchy frame, and if I want to see what the mask itself looks like, I can hold down the Option key while clicking the thumbnail. The advantage to doing this sort of thing in Illustrator, rather than Photoshop, is the infinite flexibility and scalability. You can change the stroke width, add effects, and keep doing that without degrading the image. I'll add a roughen effect, and you can manage your effects from the Appearance panel. As always, experiment and have fun.